So I want to make a quick video regarding a new feature that's available on the BMW X5 for 2019. It's the X off-road package. Now, obviously this vehicle is equipped, so you can tell by these two little rocker switches that I have here down in the center console. Now, the right one here is adjustments for the air suspension. This is a two axle air suspension available. And then this right here changes the driving characteristics of the car depending on the terrain that I select. So you'll notice as I move this toggle switch up and down, up on the iDrive, as well as in the instrument cluster. I can move up and down this list and characteristics of the car will change depending on the terrain that I do select. And I have a graphic that I have put together that I will show you so you can see the characteristics that are changing depending on the mode that you go into. Now, similarly to the driving dynamics control, this also changes characteristics. You're probably familiar with this if you've had um, somewhat recent BMWs. Uh, the recent model years, sometimes they have a rocker switch, sometimes they have these independent buttons where you can choose a driving mode. Um, these change characteristics of the car as well, um, but these ones here are going to be specific for terrains. Something to note is if you do select a driving mode, it's going to override your X off-road selection and vice versa. So you can't be in X snow and sport mode together, which um, I would think is kind of a sensible thing, but just so you know, that's normal operation that it wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, also, good to note, if you do go into the X off-road modes, it does disable your auto start-stop. So that, again, that's normal operation. And then uh, something else that maybe has gone unnoticed, if you had BMW in the past, this has kind of been the way it's been since they had the drive modes, where the car defaults into comfort. The same would be true with the X off-road selections as well. So if you pull up to your home in the evening and you're in uh, X snow, when you start the car up in the morning, it will be back in the, the comfort mode, which is the default setting. So you just have to go back into the X snow mode. But just to let you know, that's normal operation. Something new with the air suspension that you'll get is an easier loading height. So this button right here on the bottom tailgate, this is on the lower portion. Obviously, the top portion's already opened, but here on the lower portion, depending on the light indicator, I'll show you a couple of the different light statuses here and still images, but if it's flashing, that means the suspension's adjusting. If it's a solid green light, that means it's at its lowered height for easier loading. And if it's not illuminated, as you see here, this means that the uh, suspension's at its normal or, or higher riding height. Um, so it's not at the lowest point, the easiest loading height that you can actually set it to. And just to give you a look, you can kind of see suspension's pretty raised up. I'll show you some still images. And then one of the last things regarding the X off-road package that I wanted to mention was the additional underbody protection you get. So I'll show some pictures here so you can see some of the additional coverage that you get on the underbody. Now with an M Sport package, you do get some protection on the underbody, but just not to the extent that you do get with the X off-road package. And one of the most prominently displayed uh, pieces of the underbody protection is the skid plate up at the front of the car. You can kind of see that one just by looking at the lower part of the front bumper. But if you have any further questions about X off-road package, please let me know. I'll see if I can't help out and uh, see you in the next video.